I decided by the end of college that I basically built up all the things I needed to get into a law school while not really working on my art as much as I had hoped to. So I ended up going into law school with the idea of practicing for uh, artists and, and helping them with contracts, helping them start a business. And then throughout law school, that kind of evolved into me communicating with my art, creating uh, paintings that spoke to the legal issues I was studying. I returned to Chattanooga uh, from the University of Texas in Austin where I was studying and found work of, in all things of real estate law, which is not like, that was, you know, just to be honest, that wasn't the sexiest type of career I saw myself in, but it was incredibly informative and I learned a lot about how, how life works and, and how governments work through learning how development works. And then, little by little, I started integrating myself into the Chattanooga art scene to where I was able to earn a couple of grants to jump into the arts completely and take that risk. The Souls of Free Folk is my first book. Some people have been calling it, I think my favorite way to categorize it is uh, people have been calling it like a picture book for adults. I wrote it uh, with the inspiration that I've had growing up uh, from graphic novels, from, um, from comic books, and, and from poetry. It basically pays tribute to all of the, the, the legacy of great black writers, uh, musicians, um, singers, and artists who've come uh, from the tradition of Du Bois uh, to the present day by providing a poem, uh, a basically a narrative poem uh, that's illustrated over the course of about 100 pages. A lot of the first people to see a preview of this book and, and to support it and ask how they can help were professors at UCC, and uh, some of which knew me from when I was a student, trying to figure out what in the world I was going to do when I was debating between law school and art school. Josiah is like a, a close partner in the ways in which I want us art and my students to think about art as something made by people, for people, but very often in the history of Western art that we get, communities have been excluded from the kind of histories of Western art that we value. And I think when we sort of address that head on, we can make better art. Chattanoogans like to see Chattanoogans succeed. That's true of the different communities within the city. That's true of, the, of a lot of the entities in the city, like especially UTC, the, the university. I feel like you don't have to wait for someone to come from New York or someone come, to come from a big city to do something great, that the greatness is here. And I feel like Chattanooga has a lot of people that, um, that are looking for greatness to nurture. And, and it's, it's a beautiful thing.